Greetings guys, girls, non-binary pals, and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are well, and I hope that you are fighting, because there is a lot to be fighting for. As usual, there will be a link in the description to the page of my website with a bunch of petitions, donations, emails to send to MPs, etc, etc. So, as you all know, uh, every video I wear a different pair of earrings. They usually match either the theme of the video, my outfit, or my makeup. I sort of try to make them match the theme of the video and then I sometimes match my outfit also to the theme of the video so everything sort of works together. That's how I tend to choose my earrings uh, but sometimes they just go with my makeup or my outfit so that's how I usually pick them. Uh, but because of this I get a lot of people asking me to see my earrings. So many people have asked me to do an earrings tour so today I thought I would do that. It goes really well with Pride Month because we all know it is a staple for queer women and non-binary people to wear just ridiculous earrings. Uh, there was the whole trend on TikTok that was a lesbian would make those into earrings, a lesbian would make those into earrings, you know? And it's true. It's true. Uh, so <laughs> I have my box of earrings. Um, I keep my earrings in a box because when we moved like six months ago, I put them in here to move and I just never took them out. I don't have anywhere to put them. Uh, here we are. So I'm gonna show you my earrings. I will talk a little bit about a bunch of them. Yeah, so so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, a lot of people also ask where I get them from. A majority of my earrings are from Depop or Etsy. There are a few from like online small businesses, like websites, uh, but most of them are from Depop and Etsy. So I can't really give you specific links because they're just like, there are so many. <laughs> just like literally go on to Depop and search the word lesbian and you just get earrings. It's very funny, but that's what I usually do to find my earrings. So yeah, let's let's get started. A problem with keeping earrings in a box is that they get lost very easily. Um and they all get tangled up. So I might have to zoom in for this one, mightn't I? Let's Oh, I hate it. <laughs> okay, so first up, we have these oranges. These are real orange slices. Uh, they were the first pair of obscure earrings that I ever bought. I got them pretty soon after I moved to London. Um, bef Can you go away, please, plane? These were my like signature earrings. These are like the iconic queer kiwi earrings. This is what I wore in every single TikTok when I first started. They were the only pair of earrings I had for like a few months. And so like all the early drawings and things of me, it was these earrings. These are icons. These are where the earring collecting started. Uh, so yeah, oranges. Along the same vein, I have kiwi fruit uh, because obviously I'm the queer kiwi. I'm a kiwi, so I had to get kiwi fruits. So. Yeah, kiwi fruit slices. They are also real kiwi fruit. We have miniature uh, My Littlest Pet Shops because childhood nostalgia. I fucking loved My Littlest Pet Shops. They were my favorite thing in the entire world. So why wouldn't they be on earrings? You know, why wouldn't I do it? And along that same, again, train of thought, we're going with themes here. I have like full sized My Littlest Pet Shops. These are a butterfly and a bee but I also have a different butterfly. These were three pair. They came as a three, so you can like mix and match them. There's also a caterpillar head and a fish uh, because I bought so many My Littlest Pet Shop earrings because like I said, My Littlest Pet Shop was like my childhood. I used to keep them all <laughs> next to the bath and I would play with the My Littlest Pet Shops in the bath and that's what I did in my bath time. I just sat there for like four hours playing with My Littlest Pet Shops, so. There we go, that's a fun childhood story time of mine. Keeping up with the toy theme, I have these guys who usually sit behind me on my coffee box, um, Buzz and Rex, because these are so cool. I saw these and I couldn't not buy them. They are, I love them. These are some of my favorite earrings. Look how cool they are. Uh, yeah, I've realized now looking at this box of earrings, 90% of them are just toys. Because why would I buy jewelry that would, looks like it would be made by someone who is not three? You know what I mean? Like if a three year old would like it, I want them as earrings. That's sort of how my train of thought goes. If it's something a three year old would own, um, then I want it as earrings. 
Next up, I have my squeaky pigs, which tend to make dogs really excited. Uh, <laughs> just, I play with them a lot. They're so fun to play with. I love these earrings. They amuse me and annoy everyone around me because I am a child and I enjoy squeaking them a lot. <laughs> Next we have the rubber ducks, which were actually some of the first big earrings I bought. I think they were like third after the oranges. And I love these. I love them so much. These are probably the heaviest earrings that I have. They are very, very heavy and uncomfortable to wear, but I still will wear them out to buy coffee. Like I will, I love them. They are so cute. And they're like iconic. They were what I wore in my first straight TikTok video, which is the video that like got me subscribers. So the loves of my life. These are the last of the like big, heavy, squeaky <laughs> earrings um, because they're frogs. Obviously they're frogs. Would I be queer without frogs? No, I wouldn't. Frogs are necessary. These are like probably the gayest earrings that I own. And also they attract dogs. So, so all the pros of this is they are the gayest earrings ever. Uh, they're frogs and they they attract dogs. So they're literally just like perfect. They're also very heavy. So it's like a good workout for your ears. I, Next we have the hand clappers, which they do clap. Um, I loved these as a kid. I would play with these all the time. It would drive everyone absolutely mad, but I loved them. And so when I saw them existing as earrings, I immediately bought them. And I obviously bought them in two different colors because I needed them badly. And like, again, you can annoy people, but when I turn my head, they do slap me in the face. So that is a, a downside of them. Next, we have more icons, which are the bubbles that I have in three colors, because of course I have them in three colors. They're bubble ones as earrings. I want them in all the colors. I love these. Me and Kat go for walks and I'll take these and then I'll just like blow bubbles because bubbles are always a fun time. Where there are bubbles, there's a party and I love them. So these are like for going out to the park, having picnics, going for walks. An absolute necessity. These are another amazing pair that are really good for outings if you think you're gonna be sitting somewhere for a while because these are tic-tac-toe boards. So like, uh, you can just take them out and you can play a game of tic-tac-toe. Kat and I sometimes play on the train. If we're going somewhere that's gonna have a lot of like sitting and I know I'm gonna get bored, I will bring these because then we can play tic-tac-toe and that's important. Speaking of fun games, uh, next up I have some glow-in-the-dark sex dice because sometimes you gotta wear some like racy earrings, you know? These are my subtle earrings. Uh, I think that says a lot about all my earrings. These, these are my subtle ones that I like just put on when I don't know which earrings to wear. I put sex dice in my ears. <laughs> Again, moving on from the same line as the sex dice, I have mini vibrators because why wouldn't you want mini vibrator earrings? And the best part, the absolute best part, is they do work. They work. Everyone always asks me if they vibrate. Yes, they do. And they tickle. Keeping on the sex theme, I have anatomically correct clitorises uh, because I love them. Why, why wouldn't I have these? Once again, I bought these to wear during my sex ed videos because initially when I started this channel, it was gonna be more sex ed focused and then I got very sidetracked. <laughs> I've done like three sex ed videos, uh, but when I created the channel, that's, that's what this was gonna be. Did it end up like that? Not at all. But here we are, and I have these earrings that I love and I do wear um, because they're really cool. They're really cute. And I I just think they're very cool. From the same shop, which is Fruit and Vag, they're on Instagram and on Depop, I have anatomically correct vulvas. I just really like these. They give you like power, empowerment. You know what I mean? Like normalized vulvas, you know? That's like a big, a big thing. And I really like it. I think it's really cool. And so I got these. Um, and they're just cute. Look at them. Oh, I love them. I love them. Next up, I have some boobs, uh, but not just any boobs. These are my boobs. <laughs> Back like almost a year ago, uh, before I was making money on YouTube, I didn't have like a job. We were all in lockdown, uh, but I was doing TikTok. So I started making boob earrings and selling them. 
Uh, which was really, really cool. I was doing them, like, as an empowerment thing because, like, my boobs are something that I've always been super self-conscious of and I wanted to do, like, an empowerment thing. So you could, like, place orders of your boobs and I would make them and I would send them to you. And these were mine. Um, and I love them. I, I love them. They made me feel really good to wear. Speaking of earrings that I make, uh, we also made custom pride flag earrings. So for a period of time, you could just tell me which pride flag you wanted and I would make them as earrings for you. And including myself, I made myself some pride flag earrings. I love them. You will see me wearing them quite a lot, especially probably during pride month. I will probably be wearing these a decent amount because they're pride flags. <laughs> I also made these pride boxes that I really like. I had like leftover clay when I was making the flags. So I thought I would try and make these and they worked out really well. I didn't expect them to work, honestly, but they did. And I'm very happy with how they came out. They're quite heavy, but I love them. Next up, I have these custard cream earrings that I like to pretend that custard creams are vegan to make me feel better about wearing them. I, I, they're not real custard creams, but it just makes me feel better about, you know, not promoting vegan you know what i mean <laughs> from the same shop i have peanut butter and jam toast or bread uh these are so cute i love these i don't remember the name of the shop but i will find it and link it down below for you again from the same shop that i will link in the description i have jammy dodges which are vegan and i love these i love jammy dodges i love these earrings these are one of my favorite pairs of earrings like in terms of being practical these are probably one of my most practical pairs of earrings. I wear these probably more than I wear any other pair of earrings that I have. They go with everything. I can wear them everywhere. I love them so much. Next up are these tiny cabbies. Uh, these are actually cats. I got them to have for Christmas, but then I stole them. So they're mine now. I bought her a Kirby plushie and these. If you watched my meme video, you'll understand. Cat and I have Kirby battles. So Kirby is like a thing between us. Uh, so I got her Kirby presents, including these earrings that I stole. So they're mine now. Don't tell her. She captions my videos. She knows. <laughs> Next up, I have these troll earrings. Um, the troll dolls, I love these. The only thing with them is when I have my hair out, they kind of just mix into my hair, which I think is very, very funny. I especially like their butts. I think that it's really funny. Um, and I love them. I've said that about every pair. I just love my earrings, you know? Next, I have my Katra helmets from She-Ra because She-Ra is my favorite show. I have watched it about 12 times. I absolutely love it. It's my, it's my comfort show. It was my iOS layout for a few months. I love She-Ra. Also She-Ra, I have the heart of Etheria. Um, one of the earring hook things came off the other one. I could fix it. Uh, that's what happens when you keep your earrings in a box. They break. Um, but it's the heart of Etheria, which is also She-Ra, because like I said, I fucking love She-Ra. Somewhere I also have She-Ra's sword, but I don't know where I put them. They are my favorite earrings. I wore them all the time. I know I've said this about a few earrings, but like genuinely, they are one of my favorite pairs of earrings. And I wear them so often and then put them down and I'm like, I'll remember where they are. I don't remember where I put them. I cannot find them. I didn't put them back in the box, so I don't know where they are. Just imagine that I have them in my ears right now, okay? Okay, cool. I should have shown these ones earlier with the things to do when you're bored, but I forgot. But I'll put them on now. These are watercolor palettes. They do work. These are real watercolors. They are real brushes. If you want to paint a pretty picture while you're at the park with watercolors, you can. Wear them in your ears. I can go out, like, on a park date with someone and bring some paper, and we can just sit and, like, paint in the park on a sunny day. Best date idea. Fantastic. You just carry it around in your ears. You don't even need a bag. Don't even need a bag. Sorted. Next, I have Stray Kids Go Live and In Life album covers. Uh, I have these because I don't know if you can tell. Um, uh, but I really like Stray Kids. That's a slight understatement. Seeing that someone made their albums into earrings, I had to buy them. All I can say about these ones is go stream the albums, go listen to them. I promise you won't regret it. It's fantastic music, some of the best music ever made. I will not budge from that. That's just the truth. So, Stan Stray Kids, Wolfgang Woof Woof. That's all I have to say. Next, I have these little hearts and they say be gay, do crime. 
these were these and the next ones were actually the first earrings after the oranges that I bought that started my collection. These are from a Depop shop called Leftbians and they do really cool stuff, including the next ones I'm about to show you. These are a knife and fork that say eat the rich. So knife and fork that say eat the rich. Very important message. So yeah, those, <laughs> that is my earring collection. Um, I feel like it's not as extreme as a lot of people think it is. Like I was thinking before I did this, I'm like, I don't have that many earrings. This is gonna be really boring. I have more earrings than I thought I did. This was very long. I've been here for 45 minutes. I don't know why I didn't just jiggle my ears. Um, that's what Bella Fury did when she did one of these, but I guess I'm not smart because I thought I had less earrings than I do. <laughs> I know this has been slightly different to what I normally do. I have a uni exam in a week, so I do not have the time to like plan and prep like proper videos. And people have been asking for this. I wanted to show you, I thought it would be fun. It fits Pride Month, so I did it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Comment your favorite earrings. I would love to know what your favorites are. And uh, let me know, like literally drop your Etsy's below, promote yourself in the comments. If you have like a small business that sells earrings, promote yourself in the comments. And I would love to check out some of your shops as well. Support small businesses. I will leave some of the links to my earrings in the description if you're interested in those as well. I will also leave in the description the link to all my art photo cards, people, ask about them, so I will drop the link to those in the description too. A huge thank you to my Kiwi Fruit and Kiwi Bird channel members whose names are up on the screen right now. And a massive thank you to my channel member of the day, Mary. I love and appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for joining. If you would like to become a channel member, you can click the top link in the description, the little blue join button. You get my videos a day early, as well as 10% off my shop when I have things on my shop. And as a Kiwi Bird channel member, you sometimes get little extra clips that don't make it into the main video. No matter who you are or how you identify, whether you're out or not, I hope that you know that you are valid and that I love and accept you. And so does everyone in the comment section and everyone here, we all love and accept you. And I hope that you are able to accept yourself too and one day find yourself in a position where you are able to exist freely as yourself to whatever degree that you choose to. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah. Ah, my ears are bleeding, I swear. <laughs>